Hey guys and welcome to my new movie review that has been very specially requested by the Blind Koala, Deliverance 1972. Guys, definitely stick around for the trivia of this movie review because it's really, really funny and it's very, very clever. Talk about a movie that captures you totally off guard, guys, even though this movie is as old as 1972. It really is such a brilliant movie with some minor flaws and I'll get to those right after the synopsis. Deliverance synopsis. Intent on seeing the Kahilora Sea River before it's dammed and turned into a lake, outdoor fanatic Lewis Medlock takes his friends on a canoeing trip they'll never forget into the dangerous American backcountry. Guys, I'm probably nitpicking on this, but two of the biggest continuity flaws I found in Deliverance was, as Ed and Bob, Bobby are going down the rapids in the canoe, Lewis was supposed to be laying in the middle of the canoes due to an incident that happened a few scenes earlier in the movie. However, you can clearly see from some camera angles that there's actually nobody in the middle of the canoe at all. So as the canoe is passing the camera, they have edited the movie so that the camera is facing like a sort of a bird's eye perspective into the canoe. And you can see Lewis's character is lying there in pain, struggling and stuff like that. But then when the camera pans back to just seeing the two boys front and back of the canoe, Lewis is nowhere to be seen at all. The other one I found was, guys, in the end sequence when Ed and Bobby are in the taxi going back to the main village, one camera angle that is in front of them directly, they're literally sitting side by side in each other in the taxi in the back seat. Then the next shot of the outside looking into the taxi, they're actually on other ends of the taxi with the spare seat in the middle. Then the camera pans back to the middle of the taxi once again from the inside looking in and they're sitting side by side. But I totally understand guys that that probably is just nitpicking. Being an R-rated film guys, I personally was very surprised at that considering the lack of blood and very little swearing in this movie. But in saying all that, the piggy scene is definitely what gives it the R rating. For those of you who have seen Deliverance, you know exactly, guys, what I am talking about. And for those of you who have been following me for any period of time, you know that I do not do spoilers, no spoilers at all on my movie reviews, because in my personal opinion, spoilers are not fair at all, and I just, I just don't think they're right, guys. So, surprisingly, from, from a movie duration of 1 hour and 49 minutes, I was so surprised, guys, at how well the movie flowed, especially after the first river sequence. The director, John Borman, must have had such an incredible time filming this film due to the cast lineup, having John Vought playing Ed, who is also, if you didn't know, then you do now, that is Angelina Jolie's father. Anna J Jolly's was conceived three years after this movie was made. Fun fact, guys. Also starring Burt Reynolds, who plays Lewis, Ned Beatty, who plays Bobby, Ronnie Cox, who plays Drew. Being a movie with these incredible actors, guys, in an adventure, drama, thriller movie, this really is a great movie for its time. Guys, the boy who plays the banjo in the gas station freaked me out so much that he reminded me so much of David Dorfman who played Je Jedediah in the 2003 version of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre st starring Jessica Biel, yes, Justin Timberlake's wife. And I have to say, guys, with a really, really just incredible surprise, that banjo and guitar off with the two characters Wow, seriously, that is one incredible, that, uh, that, seriously, that is so funny. That is such a classic scene, really. Another scene, guys, that made no sense to me at all was I didn't understand who the character was at the top of the cliff with the rifle because I thought that that character was the same person who carried the rifle in the piggy scene but then Eddie ha Ed has a look at his mouth and he's got both of his two front teeth. But then at, 
as Ed looks closely in his mouth, he's got like a plate with two front teeth in it and that scene really confused me. I didn't understand who that character was until, until literally right at the end guys, they actually, uh, the police officer asks a question and it's kind of a plot twist to the movie, but when you watch the movie, if you have seen it already, you'll, 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 you know exactly what I'm talking about. And those of you who haven't seen the movie, when you see the movie, the, the sequence with the police investigating Ed's character, he asks him a question, then you're like, oh, oh, okay. And then you realize that they've just revealed something even deeper to the rest of the characters character development in the movie. The core question guys in a movie like this in my total personal opinion is does this movie have the core element, the essential element to make to to be filmed today guys, to make movie what movie is today and what I personally call in my humble humble opinion guys, the core element of its DNA for those of you who who have been following me for any period of time know exactly what I'm about to say right now. Rewatchability guys, this word right here in my personal opinion guys, rewatchability is the core essential element of film. Does deliverance have rewatchability to it and that I say to you guys no this this movie is a is is a great movie to watch once it really is as I said the gas station sequence I didn't even realize was a gas station I didn't realize that they're at a gas station after that the movie is kind of slow until the piggy scene and then the piggy scene the rest of the movie really 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 starts flowing no no pun intended but it really takes off from there after that sequence guys this movie actually is pretty decent like it really is it's very slow as i said the banjo sequence at the gas station sequence that's a lot of fun that's just just that's just a, that's just a really really incredible scene and then the, as they're going down the river it's kind of sort of drops the ball but then the piggy scene it j and those of you who have seen the movie you'll know what I'm talking about when I say piggy scene that mo that scene made me sick that scene legitimately made me sick that scene was gross disgusting I don't even know what other words I want to say about that scene but that was so messed up which is why this movie got the R rating it did purely because of that piggy scene it's just so disgusting another thing I want to talk about that piggy scene real quickly guys Something like that I thought of when I was watching this movie, and leave your comments in the comment section below to tell me if you think the same thing about the piggy scene. Do you think it was it was weird that Bobby's character after the piggy scene didn't go and have a wash in the river? Instead, he actually got dressed again. And that's not a spoiler at all. For anyone who's been following me for any period of time and you haven't seen this movie, that's not a spoiler. You'll When you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about if you see the movie. But yeah, I'm interested to know, because that's what I thought. I, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just a massive clean freak, and I saw that scene, and I was like, yeah, no. I definitely would have wanted to, especially after that situation, I would have wanted to bathe so badly. But anyway, guys, guys, those of you who have been following me for any period of time, one, I just want to say thank you so much for, for all your views. You guys are amazing. But two, I just want to take this opportunity to say you know what time it is. For anyone who's been following me for any period of time, it is trivia time. For those of you, I love giving you guys trivia because in my personal humble humble opinion, trivia in a movie review is like icing on a cake. Oh my gosh, and who doesn't like cake, guys? So it's trivia time. Burt Reynolds broke his coccyx tailbone while going down the rapids in the canoe when the canoe capsized. Originally, a cloth dummy was used, but it looked too fake, like a dummy going down a waterfall. While Reynolds recovered, he asked, how did it look? Director John Borman replied, like a dummy going over a waterfall. <laughs> Next piece of trivia is, guys, to save costs, and add to the realism, local residents were cast in the roles of the hill people. Next piece of trivia is guys, to minimize costs, the production wasn't insured and the actors did their own stunts. 
John Boyer actually climbed that cliff. How crazy is now that that's impressive? Next piece of trivia is guys. According to director John Berman, the gas station attendant's jig during the banjos scene was unscripted and spontaneous. Now that's hilarious. He must have had so much fun with that dance. Next piece of trivia is guys. Dueling banjos was the first scene shot. The rest of the movie was almost entirely shot in sequence. And that actually makes a lot of sense to this movie. Next piece of trivia is guys. While filming the white water canoe scene, Ned Beatty was thrown over and was sucked under by a whirlpool. A production assistant dove in to save him, but he didn't surface for 30 seconds. John, John Borman asked Beatty, how did you feel? And Beatty responded, I thought I was going to drown. And the first thought was, how will John finish the film without me? And my second thought was, I bet that bastard will find a way. <laughs> That's crazy. That's dedication to your craft, guys. Next piece of trivia is, much of the film had to have its color desaturated because the river looked too pretty, which makes so much sense. Next piece of trivia is, guys, Jack Nicholson agreed to play it as long as Marlon Brando played Lewis. However, guys, the actor's combined fees added up to more than $1 million, half the movie's budget, forcing John Berman to cast cheaper actors. Next and final piece of trivia, guys, and I will leave you with this one is, Donald Sutherland turned down the role of Ed because he objected to the violence in the script. He later said that he regretted that decision. How crazy is that, man? That's so good. Guys, I hope you had so much fun viewing this movie review for Deliverance 1972. I really appreciate your time. I really do. Guys, you know the deal. If you haven't already and you're new to my channel, please, if you'd be so kind, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate your time, seriously. And don't forget, if you're on a mobile device, go and click that bell for notifications. You guys are amazing. I appreciate your time. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And don't forget, guys, who's bringing this movie review to you for Deliverance. 1972. This is Superman Steve, guys. Flying!